Hey, what is up guys? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today with something super exciting here, we have the brand new Phantom 85. However guys, this is not that first gen that I unboxed and reviewed around a year ago approximately. This is version number three and this got officially released about a month ago. I got it from bicycleengines.com. Make sure you guys check them out. Not only did the price go down, but now we have a lot of issues fixed with this particular motor and I am looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. So this came via UPS and it got here fairly quickly. They shipped it, I believe on a Monday and by Thursday it was already here. So as usual, they have uh, great packaging skills. We get here a uh, sprocket. This uh, seems to be either, I think it's like a 40 T sprocket, I believe. But we already have a felt breaker frame all set up and ready to go. We're gonna talk about this in just a second. And I specifically made it here for the Phantom 85. So setting this to the side, we get here a 10% off on my next order, which is really nice. And then we get here some instruction manuals on how to install the kit. But of course, we already know how to do this, guys. But in the event that you do not, then you have this option right here, which is really, really nice. All right, guys, so what I did here is take everything out of the box. As you can see, I removed all of the content. And so this is what we get with this kit. It is a complete kit for $2.99, as I explained before, and you get absolutely everything, even if you don't have a bike like this, in which I would recommend, then you don't have to worry about it. It comes with everything. Now, this is the cylinder, guys. Uh, this thing came very nicely wrapped. I can tell that the ports are a lot cleaner on the inside. But what I can tell is that the uh, ASOS uh, port right here is a little bit smaller than before. I don't have the other one to compare, unfortunately, as I sold that bike. But yes, everything looks a lot better, and that's something that they fixed with the uh, version number three. I believe version number two came with the uh, needle bearings, like this right here, but they didn't fix the snag issue. And this is the motor. If you guys look, it says version number three right here. Very nice, guys. Uh, it came inside of this bag in which uh, I don't think there's any debris inside, but I'm still gonna check it. So let's put everything together here. We will talk about this frame actually next. Then I'm gonna put the engine together, mount it on the bike, and then we're gonna test it out, and I'll give you guys my overall thoughts. All right, guys, so this is the Phil Fraker frame that I'm talking about, and if you look here on the back side already, I installed some SE Racing uh, chain tensioners recommended for this kind of power that this engine will produce now i'm not saying that i have the top notch stuff on this bike as a matter of fact this is a whole frame that i bought from a guy in fort lauderdale uh his name well there's two guys one of them is uh his name is Darrell, i believe Darrell hunt and the other guy's name is scott but i can't pronounce his last name very cool gentleman they sold this to me complete with different rims for $4.99, but it came complete with everything. I decided to get this uh, 12 gauge uh, spoke rims from Bikeberry, and they are a lot thicker in my opinion. A lot of people criticize them for the quality. I'm not sure if something changed, but these are a lot better. Uh, we do have here the uh, a Phantom 85 color scheme. If you look at the engine itself, the Phantom, has like a purple and gold and that's what I try to do here if you guys look the uh, gas tank cap is in gold then I added a little skeleton um, what do you call this a little skeleton uh, decal right here and again I like to do this guys I like to add themes to my bikes that's just the way I am uh, the tires are stock I plan to switch these later on and what I like about this frame if you look here is that it comes already with a 36 T sprocket and it has the disc brake along with the calipers. Everything is ready to go. It came also with the pedal chains. It came with the pedal crank. I did install the uh, lights and the petcock came with it as well. There's a better high flow petcock that you can get for this. But since the motor will be stuck for a little bit, I am not going to replace it as of right now. We get a hyper Y seat with this particular bike, which is really nice. Uh, this little uh, seat tensioner. I got it off of Amazon, and again, it's just that color scheme that I'm trying to create here. Uh, it came with the uh, kickstand, 
and again here we have the other side of the uh, chain tensioner with the brakes this is a 203 millimeter uh, disc brake by the way and as you guys can tell this is the fell faker frame and it comes with the built-in gas tank we got the front suspension as well and i did already hook up all of the accessories i got the uh, thumb throttle if you guys look here i got the handle grips of uh, amazon as well we have a dual brake lever on this side so one lever breaks both of them at the same time and this is the clutch the upgraded clutch lever i like it because of this uh, little pin it makes it so much easier uh, to use versus the one that came with the kit and again this is the kill switch since i didn't use the twist throttle and i had the thumb throttle i still use the kill switch but i put it on the left side with the phone mount and everything else is pretty much stock the uh, little uh, valves here for the air, I put these caps that are also purple anodized. And uh, all we have to do, guys, is just basically put the engine on here, install the uh, CDI, and we're good to go, along with the chain and the chain tensioner. Not much to do here, guys. So what I will do next is go ahead and assemble here the Phantom 85, and we go from there. guys so we got this thing fully set up and ready to go i will recommend to check everything including the clutch assembly even though it's not yet calibrated open this cover check it out make sure that all the bolts are nice and tight i did find that the magneto nut that goes in the middle behind this cap was actually loose and that's a 50 millimeter socket i used my impact drill and got it tight a little bit more also make sure that this piece on the inner side when you remove these three bolts that it is lubricated i like to use marine grease as a matter of fact that's what they use to lubricate these engines and uh, again just be very careful with the piston clips as you can damage uh, this engine very easily if you're not careful also for your spark plug i found out that this one is not gapped correctly i believe it has to be gapped at 0.25 Make sure that you gap it correctly. This thing was almost shut. It was gapped at 0.10 or less. So uh, make sure that you check that as well. And yeah, we are all set, guys. Uh, we have here the little gasket for the exhaust with the two screws. And uh, yeah, let's mount it on the back and let's see how it looks.
And this, my friends, is the final outcome of the Phantom 85 build version number three. And we can see it right there, version number three. This thing looks absolutely amazing in every single way. So, so far, guys, again, I think it looks great. Let me know what you think down below. Let's go for a ride. Remember that it is breaking in, so I can't show you a full speed. But I did already do about 33 miles, not broken in. I already added about 10 miles into this engine. And the max speed, after gunning it for a few seconds, was about 30 three miles an hour but these engines fully broken in stock with that pipe they can do up to 45 that's why they are so popular because out of the box you get a performance engine without breaking the bank all right guys so here we are all set with the phantom 85 let's go ahead and kick start it let's pop the clutch Well guys, I'm gonna get out without cutting this part. I just want to show you that this is a bone stock Phantom 85 CC motor version number three, guys. This is absolutely insane. I took a lot of risk with this particular video in the sense that this is not a broken in motor yet. Fully stock, we can see that cheap 19 millimeter carb. And this thing did 42 miles an hour I mean, if that's not insane, let me know what is, guys. Just let me know right now. A engine that out of the box, without breaking in, can do 42 miles an hour. Imagine all the potential that we have with this particular engine. I'm afraid that this is a little bit faster than that first gen. I'm not sure if maybe they did something with the ports, something changed, but this is a darn fast bike.
driving a little bit too high. That is it, guys. The chain is actually not stretched out yet. Um, but yes, that is uh, pretty much it, guys, for today's unboxing, setup, installation, and first impressions of the Phantom 85 version number three. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think about this uh, particular engine. I think it's pretty awesome. It actually did impress me. That's the fastest that I've ever gone on a stock motor. True 85 cc's. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. And I'll see you guys on my next one.